Welcome back. So today we're building Snow White's cottage and I've actually wanted to build this for a pretty long time. Um, so it's technically, it's not really like Snow White's cottage though. It's kind of, it's, it is actually like the cottage of the seven dwarfs from Snow White, but you know, for the sake of the title of the video, I just, you know, I just kind of called it Snow White's Cottage, you know, so... Anyway, so I have been seeing, like, a lot of people build this cottage, um, f like, for a couple of years now. And um, it's just such a cute little cottage. And ever since we got cottage living, I just felt like, okay, I just have to do it now. It's such a beautiful... Um, okay, so the movie, uh, Snow White, uh, it's actually not my favorite. It's like the first ever Disney movie. So yeah, it's like the first ever Disney animated movie and, um, it is quite dated, you know, it is, well, first off, it's very scary. Like I really, like I'm very easily scared. Like I don't really love horror movies. I don't really watch them at all. Definitely not really at night. <laughs> so, um, and Snow White is actually pretty scary. Like there's a lot of like um, very dark, mysterious kind of, you know, witchy kind of, there's the scenes in the forest where they're like all these creatures kind of thing. And I don't know, I just find it very scary. Okay, so um, yeah, so that's like the first thing. And then it's also quite dated. It's just not really, I mean, it is a fairy tale and um, fairy tales are kind of dated, you know, they are pretty old tales and um, so it makes sense. But then, you know, Snow White is, um, <laughs> well, well, technically her only job in life is to be pretty, you know? So um, it doesn't really set like a great example for women nowadays. And um, that's like literally everything kind of that the movie is like telling us about her. Um, however, I do still find um, she also has like a lot of like moral, um, I don't know how to say this, like she's very um, kind, you know, she's very like, uh, she doesn't have like any prejudice or anything towards no one really. So she does have like a very, many good virtues too, you know? So, so yeah, she isn't really just pretty, but the movie kind of makes it seem like as a woman, that's all you kind of need, you know, to, to be like, I don't know, to be a human as a woman. So yeah, it's not really like my favorite and um, yeah. And also like the scary thing. So it's not my favorite Disney movie. And if you've been here for a while, you will know that I love Disney movies. Like it's my absolute favorite thing to watch. Like I'm absolutely obsessed with Disney. And I always have been, even as a child, like obviously I have watched Snow White a million times, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. It's not my favorite. There's like a lot of other um, older Disney movies that I way prefer. But yeah, I don't really want to hate on this movie all the time. I uh, do still think it's a beautiful movie. It's obviously like very well made. Um, and um, the music is kind of cute, you know, they have these, uh, the dwarves have this cute little song, you know, and then she, yeah, there's like this scene where she's like singing into this fountain and she sings something like, I don't know, like, ha, 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 like it's super cute. And then the fountain just is kind of singing it back to her. It's just super cute. You know, it's like a, um, very innocent little thing, you know, and, um, the music's just beautiful. Um, yeah. And I do really love this cottage and everything about it is just so, it's so romantic. You know, there's like a waterfall, I think left to, on the left of the cottage. And there's like this little um, river that goes like uh, along, you know, in front of the house, there's like a river. And then you have this um, bridge that leads over the river into the house, to the house. And um, it's just absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. So yeah, I might try and talk about this build now. So <laughs> it is actually not, it wasn't that easy to build this because, um, well, it is a very small cottage, you know, but still, it is meant to house seven dwarfs, you know, so it's their house. 
Um, and in The Sims, you know, like the proportions aren't like, uh, it's not really easy to make this happen in The Sims. You know, if you were to build a house for seven Sims, um, or even eight, if you count Snow White, um, it's just very difficult to make it very small. I mean, Lil Simsy can do it, you know, but I don't know if I can. So <laughs> I did have a little bit of trouble and I did still want to make this look like like it actually does, you know, in the movie. So um, I decided to, so we actually just have, basically there's just one room really. Um, and for the interior, um, that's another thing. For the interior, I didn't really look for uh, pictures, to be honest. I did, um, I did find like a couple, but I didn't really, like I said, it's not my favorite movie. I didn't really want to like watch it and um, it's not like there's not so many pictures of it. So I didn't really bother to really look into it. So I kind of did it like a little bit from memory and then also like what I thought would make sense, you know, and would kind of fit the style of the cottage. So um, you will see that in a bit. We have this one like bigger kind of living area downstairs and then um, there is technically a second floor. Um, where I placed seven teeny tiny beds, <laughs> um, but they are not functional. So I placed them like straight, like right next to each other. It's uh, just like in the movie, it's the same there, I think. And um, so they won't be able to access the beds. Also, I sized them down quite a bit because I did actually want to make them look like dwarf beds. And also because I just wanted to make them fit, you know, they didn't really fit into the house like into the second floor otherwise. So that's why I size them down quite a bit. Yeah, so um, the thing is you can technically access the second floor. However, um, in order to make your sims go up there, you would have to uh, delete the roof, <laughs> which uh, is a bit of a thing to do um, because it's not actually set on top of a room. It's kind of hovering in the air and um, so you would have to pull it aside and then make your sims go up there and then pull back the roof and oh, it's the whole thing. So um, basically it's not like the, the second floor is not functional. So um, I did, however, place an, a room in the basement just so because I wanted this to be like playable too, you know, I did want to try and make this look as close to the original as possible, but I still wanted it to be playable if you decide to download this and um, place this into your game. So um, yeah, that's what I did. Obviously there's also a bathroom, which I don't know what the bathroom looks like in the original anyway. So I kind of did that. I just winged it. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it about that. Um, for the exterior, you can see me struggling here a little bit because I did want to um, well, I did want to try and make like this second floor um, just to have these beds there and stuff. Um, but I didn't want to make it just a full room because the walls are just so tall. You know, and then if you place the roof on top of the room, it would be like way too high. And so I decided to just, uh, I think I used platforms and um, then just like what I usually do to make a room like um, put it on another level is that I just place a room and then um, I lift the room up to the height that I want the roof to be on and then I place the roof on top of the room and then I delete the room underneath and then you can just like move the roof around you know like like that you can see it just like it's kind of just like floating in the air you know so um it is a bit like complicated to explain it's not that hard actually but you know once you get the hang of it it's not that hard to do the only annoying thing is that the roof like every time you kind of place a wall or delete a wall inside that is kind of attached you know to the build um the roof will just disappear so <laughs> it will just be deleted so that's a bit annoying and um yeah, so other than that, it's pretty easy and I'm really glad that I did it like that because I do actually think um, the exterior does look pretty good. Like it did take me a while to figure out how to actually do this and the roofing especially was like, it's kind of ridiculous be because it's not really like complicated roofing situation, but still in order to really make this like, you know, as the original, um, it did take me quite a while to figure everything out. 
and um but yeah i do think it turned out pretty good and especially like the landscaping and uh the waterfall which i placed i used the one from island living and um by the way um we have this waterfall in cottage living right um this is actually the lot where like on top of that mountain where the waterfall is and um so we do have a waterfall with cottage living but I'm pretty sure we didn't get one with the pack, did we? We didn't get one in debug. I'm pretty sure we didn't. Which to me doesn't really make sense because there is an actual waterfall in, you know, in, um, well, in the game, you know, in the uh, world that we got with Cottage Living. Um, and it does look amazing. Like the waterfall looks amazing and they, it does look like there's like several waterfalls kind of in, in one. Well, it does look like they're like, um, separate waterfalls though. You know, it looks like it's not just one big one. It looks like there's like a couple of single ones, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure we don't have that in debug. So, um, yeah, I don't really get it. Like, I, I feel like it would have been quite easy to just, because the waterfall exists, you know, they would just have to like upload it into the game. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how these things work really. So maybe I shouldn't say something, <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, I did actually try to include a couple of things. Like, um, for example, here I placed these crystals that came with uh, Realm of Magic into this um, I don't know how you call that, but that thing that I placed the crystals in came with werewolves, I think. And um, it's like a mining thing um, because the dwarves are miners and um, they do like go into the mines and like cut out crystals, if you call it that. I don't know, but um, that's what they do. So um, I thought that would be kind of cute, you know, to have this little extra detail and um, yeah, because they do actually like... Um, yeah, um, search for stones or like crystals. I don't really know what you would call that. But anyway, so um, now I started working on the landscaping. And um, one thing that I think I will not show actually is I did, in the end, I did include a bunch of um, these birds. Um, what are they called? Like the birds that came with cottage. I mean, we have these little kind, tiny trees. Um, where there's like birds inside and then also we have these little um, wooden stems or something where there's like a rabbit hole in there so um, once you place them the animals will actually appear on the lot so um, so yeah I did place a bunch of those because obviously you know it's Snow White she always has like animals with her you know she's like cleaning the house with the birds and the animals and like <laughs> I don't know like she's a She's just a, an animal whisperer, so um, it made sense to have like a, a bunch of animals there, especially birds. And I just didn't think of that at first. I don't know why. Like while I was filming and building this, I didn't really think of that. Like um, didn't came to, come to my mind. I don't know why, but um, yeah, I did include that after all. You would see that in the cinematic shots in the end. And um, yeah, by the way, the bridge, obviously it's not functional. Like this is just for decoration. Um, I mean, the lot is way bigger than it needs to be for the actual house. You know, the house is just tiny, but I did want to include like this landscaping situation. So um, the bridge is, oh, where, where, I think that might, oh, is it? Island, I don't know, island living maybe, um, it did come with some pack, <laughs> I don't remember which one. So yeah, I did place that over top of the river, um, but you know, it's very narrow kind of, and I didn't want to, you know, I could technically like place a path, like just uh, some floor um, underneath the bridge and kind of cover it with the bridge in a way, I did do that before. But the bridge is so narrow and also I wanted to make this, I kind of put it at an angle and so you just would have seen the tiles, you know, and I didn't really want that. I didn't want to cover everything up with like greenery and all that because it's just, um, well, the bridge was supposed to be like a focal point kind of too, you know, so um, I decided to just keep it that way and it doesn't really matter because, you know, they can access the house, you know, the Sims will just like go around 
and um, it's not a big deal, you know, so they just won't use the bridge, like, just in case you were wondering about that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually super happy with the landscaping. Um, I know I kind of say that a lot, like always, pretty much. <laughs> But lately, I think it's because I have been building quite a few builds lately where there was just like a very wild uh, landscaping situation. And I just love that. Like, um, well, that it's just like what looks most natural. And to me, you know, the natural kind of overgrown flowery kind of field thing is like the most beautiful to me. Um, because it makes you actually feel like you're in nature. You know, it's kind of like a different thing if you have a flower bed that does look like it's arranged, you know? So um, I do find that beautiful as well, but I just think this whole like wild overgrown landscaping situation is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I would feel the same way in real life. So um, I really love how this turned out and I use a lot of like rocks there as well. Um, like smaller rocks here and there and I think it just really looks like it's um, it just works perfectly for this environment as well and um, yeah I think it's actually super cute that there is a waterfall on the lot and then I placed this like I said on the lot on top of the mountain in Hanford on Bagley and there's actually another waterfall on the left to the to the build you know I did also include that in the cinematic shots and um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's kind of cute. You know, you kind of have, it, it kind of matches pretty well. It does make sense, you know, that there's like a continuous water flow, if that makes sense. I don't know. So, um, yeah. And then I decided to do some more like decor for the exterior because, um, well, the thing about the cottage is that it's actually pretty like... <laughs> Um, the dwarves aren't really like very tidy and there's like a lot of stuff just lying around and uh, so I just wanted to um, Yeah, to to make it seem that way and just like, you know, make it look very like, you know They're cutting a lot of wood and there's like a lot of like wooden Boards lying around and that kind of stuff. So um, that's just what I'm doing here oh, And yeah, again, I decided to finish the exterior completely first which um, I think, well, if I will th think of that, <laughs> I think I might be doing that um, always from now on. Because it's just, I do really find, for me personally, it's much easier that way. It's building, it's just much more enjoyable that way for me. So um, if I remember to do that, <laughs> I might really stick to that. And um, let me know actually what you guys think. Like, do you prefer... Um, because I think a lot of like Sims YouTubers, um, everybody kind of does it differently. So um, do you prefer to have like the exterior first completely and then just go to the interior? Or do you prefer, because I think that's what a lot of Simmers do, um, to go outside after the interior is done and then start like finish off with the landscaping. What do you prefer? Um, yeah, I think I for me, for building, I prefer this way. So um Anyway, so we're inside now, and um, so I decided to make my own um, stair, uh, what's that called, like the railing, because there was just so much clipping, you know, it's, um, I have talked about this before, it's like an issue, I don't know why they do not fix this, I don't think they will, um, The Sims 5 is coming at some point, so I don't think they will fix it <laughs> anymore. Um, but it's just this this thing when you place stairs um, on like on a wall um, It doesn't really matter if they're straight or or, or on an angle um, and Then you add a railing It will just clip into the wall and you can actually not always But most of the time you can actually see it from outside sometimes which is ridiculous um, but most importantly you can see it inside and it clips into the window too you know it just doesn't make sense if the if the stairs are on a wall um, you don't need to have the railing on both sides you know it just doesn't make sense but it still will um, attach to both sides of the stairs and then it will clip and that's just annoying so that's why I decided to just build my own railing there. <laughs> yeah, and like in general, I kind of try to um, incorporate like a lot of um, custom kind of things and 
really make this look like a, it's more like a cabin actually than a cottage, I would say, um, on the inside anyway. Um, so yeah, I did try to make the kitchen especially look like, you know, like an older kind of the stove. I wanted it to look like, you know, there's like this, I don't know, like these medieval type stoves that are just set on their own kind of. And so I placed this wood kind of stuff next to it, <laughs> which I just used this, um, wooden, I don't know what you call that. I have trouble finding words today. I'm very sorry about that. I don't know what that's about. Um, but you know what I mean? You just saw me do it. Um, yeah, I just uh, used a bunch of those from Debug, their base game. And um, then I just copy pasted them with tool and put them at different sizes and rotated them and stacked them on top of each other. So um, that's just what I did. And um, the kitchen's actually, I mean, obviously everything in there is like super small. Um, everything's functional though. I didn't include a kitchen sink, not because I forgot, but because there is a sink in the bathroom and um, the kit, there wasn't really any space for it um, because, you know, the Sims need a counter, like a free counter to cook to prepare, prepare the food and if I would have placed a sink as well, um, well, it wouldn't really have worked that way. So I just decided to skip that. It doesn't really matter. I think in a, in a house as small as this one, you know, if you have one sink, it's fine, you know, for gameplay anyway, it's, it doesn't really matter. It wouldn't take longer, you know, if it wouldn't be less long if you had a sink in the kitchen. You know what I mean? So yeah, anyway, so um, the interior is not very like, there's not a lot going on, but there are a lot of cluttery things still. And um, I did include a dining table, which is functional. I did, however, size it down with tool. Like I didn't size it down with uh, using um, the keyboard. I used tool, I think I sized it down to, 0 0.9 and also the chairs because um well for two reasons basically first one is the space <laughs> um i felt like if the table which i'm working on right now um if the table were at the normal standard size it would be i i kind of felt like the playing um the gameplay wouldn't be possible so um that's one reason and another reason is um well, the house is a house for dwarfs, right? So um, I kind of found like it looks better in this small space if the table and the chairs, because that's kind of like the furniture that takes up the most space. And I thought it would make sense if they just were a little bit smaller. And um, so if you size them down um, just a little bit, it's still functional, you know, they can still use it. Um, the plates will be like floating in the air a little bit if when you play with it um, But I don't know like it doesn't bother me at all. Like I don't really care about these things um, if you do feel free to just uh, Delete the table and just uh, get a new one normal size and whatever um, But yeah, I think it's fine. You know, it doesn't really matter the important thing is that they can use it they can sit there and um, yeah, so I was pretty pleased with that. And um, I think the interior is really, really cute. It's very cozy. And um, I think, I say that a lot, I think, but if I were to buy like a house, this is kind of the size that I would imagine for me, you know, because um, it is quite hard. You know, I come from a household where we lived in a pretty big house and it is pr very hard to maintain, you know, and, you know, once you get older, things get harder and everything. And the more space you have, the more space you need to maintain. And also, you you know, electricity and energy bills and whatnot, it's all going to be more if you have more space, you know. So, um, and I'm alone at the moment, like I... I don't have anyone, you know, even if I had like a partner, I would still go for something very small, I think. So this is kind of the size that I would go for if I could, you know. I mean, I don't even know why I'm talking about this because it's not going to happen anytime soon. But 
Anyway, <laughs> so now I'm working on the upstairs area. So this is what I've been talking about. Um, so the way I did this was I just really um, took the roof off basically. I just had it hover in the air on the side there. And um, also I had to delete the stairs and put them back in because they were deleted once I like got rid of the roof and it was like this whole thing. So, um, but I still wanted to have those beds there, you know, because <laughs> I don't know, at, at this point it was probably just like principle. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I think it's kind of cute. You know, it is, um, that's just what, it li what it's like. And it is supposed to be like a second floor. So, um, and it didn't take very long. So that's what I did. And this is the bathroom and this is pretty much it. Like that's all I'm doing. So, um, yeah, I very much hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please enjoy the cinematic shots in the end and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mountain to the